Hello once again, everybody. Welcome back. Today we are going to be exploring and previewing, I guess, a game called Montague's Mount, which I did look a little bit at the description, and it sounds like another kind of maybe... I don't know if it's a walking simulator type type of game, it kind of sounds like it might be, but another kind of almost like the vanishing of Ethan Carter, but we're on an Irish island, I think it said, or so on the coast maybe. So uh, let's see. As the salty water withdraws from my eyes, my focus pulls in upon my feathered friends watching me from above. I'm guessing overboard. Yes. That is what must have befallen me. I, I must have somehow been washed overboard. My clothes would suggest a life upon the seas, although I have no memories of such an existence, or any existence for that matter. Even my own name is currently hiding itself from me. I must find out what has led me to this beach and somehow leave this place. So it must be the Irish coast then, obviously. Although I suppose it could still be an island off of the Irish coast. Um, ooh, interesting. Wow, I have had quite the shipwreck in old That's cool. I had, I'm not even going to attempt to say those words, but that's cool. Ooh, ooh, I've seen better days. Ow, ooh, my legs. Yikes, is this another aim? Yeah, an old suitcase. Oh, oh, that has text associated with it. Let's go towards it. I also see a note over there to the right, but it looks like there's a gate that we will go through. So I'm going to go over here first, I think. 15th of March, 1993. Sickness on the island. A sickness has taken hold of this island and is spreading rapidly from person to person. Explore the environment. I can't quite see what it says. Press E whenever you see the information symbol or the inter- Okay, yep, I had figured that out. Tasks or task, search the beach for a makeshift walking stick. Okay, that makes sense. I feel like this is me and making somebody that's this injured walk this far without assistance, but this looks important and I'm not quite sure what to use as a walking stick yet. And I'm wondering if, uh, it doesn't look like it's over here really, does it? Oh my God, it's right here. That took forever, forever. Oh my God. Also, you, you'll notice I've turned both the film grain off and the gamma up, so hopefully that will make this a little easier on both of us. That took forever. It was leaning on the rock right there, like the, past the, the first thing I walked to. Oh my goodness. That's fine. That's fine. All right, here we go. Pick this up. Now we can continue our adventure. Okay, the old hermit shack. Electricity. The electricity seems to be currently turned off. Explore further along the path, you may find the source of the power. Hint. Door window light switch. Thanks. There does not seem to be any electricity. Why is the wire... Also, I mean, that might be why. The rain might be a, a reason why. What's this that's glowing? What is this? Three, four. Nice. There are so many records around. Uh, there again. There are so many records around. I think I could probably just. Um, it's probably a specific one, though, isn't it? Not just one of the ones. One of the multitudes lying around in the sand. Gonna guess. So I'm just gonna continue on this way. See what's up. Some world objects like the shed door require other items. In this case, a key. Follow the path until you find the store shed and search for some keys. Okay. How far along the- is that a person? Uh, is this meant to be creepy? Cause this kid is creepy. Oh uh, no, it's not getting better. It's really not getting better. Please stop. Please don't. Please don't murder me, small child. I'm not playing loot. Oh, oh no, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. What? What's going on? I seem to be missing many objects. Yeah, see, I told you, missing many objects. Oh, there's a note on the- oh, there are the keys. Goodness, I'm standing right near them. Okay, so now I can open the thing. What does this say? 
Um, press I to view items which you are carrying, X and Z, or the mouse wheel to select. You can only carry up to five items at a time. So I have a crank and two things and a key. Set of keys, rather. Sorry. Um, I. So one of those keys will open the door that I think turns the electricity on. And then we'll keep going from there. Yep, there we go. Open the door, grab the gas. That's for the generator. Cool. That starts up the generator, then when the generator's going, I can turn on the power. Okay, generator on, good to go. And electricity's on. All right, um, let us, I still need something for this, yep. Um, let's go into the danger door. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know why, but when that shadow moved, I wasn't fully looking at the screen. And I thought it was like a giant monster dog leaping at me, and it freaked me out. <laughs> that, ooh, boy. It's not even scary. <laughs> Alright, I turned the light on in here. Can I turn the TV on? And will it be important? Oh, well, I might want to hit the on button first. Okay. That doesn't seem to be telling me much. Anyway, I was going over here to the hermit's hut, I think, to turn the light on. There was something I needed to do. Oh, right, there were these green lights in here. And I'm not sure what they mean, but let's uh, see if they do anything now that there's... Uh, grab that. Um, no? Can I go? Oh, I can open this. How to lower the bridge. You need to enter the correct timing using the sundial. Examine the buoy from a commanding location and make note of the light pattern. Convert to colors using first letter of Morse code, i.e. red. Correctly set the wooden- oh my god. Well everybody, I'm fresh out of ideas. I used everything I have in my inventory right now on the sundial, none of which is useful. I think probably the the crank might be for the bridge as well as the colorful things. I don't actually know what the colorful things are. The colorful things might be the lights that I have to put somewhere. Um, ex except they're called spinners, I think. Maybe they're spinning lights. I don't know. But I've kind of run out of ideas. And as far as I can tell, I need something for the sundial. But most of what I see is just general like life and shipwreck detritus. I can't find anything. I can't find anything to even put on the gramophone because all of these are broken. <coughs> I, I'm not sure what this stuff is for. Um, this might be, actually, hold on, this might be where I put the things, but I, I only have three out of four of them, and I don't know what would happen anyway. So yeah, here we go. I can at least do this. That'll, uh, there you go. That's three out of four done. To put the crank in the fourth one, I don't know. So a pressure valve wheel. I, I don't even know where the pressure valve thing would be. Um, and I am... Frankly, I am stuck right now. So there are several objects that I'm missing and I don't know where to find them. There is so much stuff strewn around and most of it seems to be the same repeating objects that I just, I honestly don't know what I'm looking for. Ah, maybe this is the time I need to set it to? That doesn't really help me with something like to put on the sundial though, unless I can steal the clock hands. Ah, it's right here. Okay, well that's that, at least. That's something, that's something I can use, that's something useful. Um, I, there was something else there, wasn't there? Oh, I needed to unblock the thing. Well, let's do the sun, sundial first. I don't know how it's expecting me to set a sundial to 1010, because the fundamental purpose of sundials is to use the sun to tell the time, and I don't have control over the sun. So I don't know how I'm gonna make it be 1010 if that's the correct time. But I'm gonna go stick it in the sundial anyway and see if anything happens. This is not how sundials work! This- oh, <laughs> No! You can't just spin it around and say it's whatever time you want it to be. This isn't a sundial. It exists solely to be a puzzle. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Uh, I- I don't know what's- I don't know what's going on with this. What, or why I'm slow zooming my face into the cro- What is- Okay. Was that necessary? What do I have to do with this exactly? Well, alright everybody, we found the buoy. I'm not quite sure what it wants to tell me. I'm gonna go back and look one last time at the directions to- For the lights to turn on. Because that's kind of the only clue I have 
right this second. Oh, I found that thing. I'll go put that thing in the thing that's over here. Great. Um, but that's kind of the only clue I have. If I can't figure out what's happening, um, I think we will leave it. Convert to colors using first letter and Morse code. Correctly set the wooden spinners. Use the code to work out the- Oh! Okay. So what you're saying is brute force it. Because <laughs> I am not doing that. <laughs> I'm going to forget the Morse code by the time I get back over here. You know what I could do? Is pull up Morse code on my phone and not have to walk halfway across the island again. White. There's white on these, right? There's not white on these, is there? Well, I mean, I know three of them, I think. Oh, there it is. Oh my god, every time I think I'm gonna end, I find something else. So, I don't know what's going on with this. There's no white. It looked to me like the Morse code was telling me whatever I said it was, and that didn't work. Partly because there's no white on these things. Um, and I don't know where to go from there. So I know I've said this like three times already, but like I said, every time I think I'm gonna end, I find something else to piece the puzzle together. But I think we're just gonna listen to this record and then maybe we're done. Yeah, there we go. Something's happening. Finally, something is happening. Was that at all useful? Okay, so there is exactly no point to doing that. So that's good to know. I'm gonna turn this off. And I'm gonna leave, and we're gonna finish this game up for today. Thank you for joining me for Montague's Mount. That was, uh... It started with some potential and then very quickly went downhill. Uh, I feel like there are... I don't know if there are too many puzzles going on at once, or things that are happening aren't clear enough, or I think that Morse code puzzle... It's kind of hard to see where the letters... or the, the code starts and stops. I don't know if... Maybe the red is where it starts and that's not... A, direct like translation of what color that one should be I'm not really sure but at this point there's there's just a lot of puzzles to solve there's a lot of things going on and I don't know if I am interested enough to continue and I'm certainly not going to make you uh, watch me suffer not suffer that's not what I mean um, struggle that's the word I was looking for struggle through it so thank you for joining me for this little foray into Montague's Mount if you do want to check it out um, you can. I'm not sure how much it costs. Uh, maybe you'll have better luck with the puzzles than I am. Um, otherwise, thank you for joining me. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this gameplay. And hit that bell icon if you want to know when I put videos out. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!